Hey, what's up guys, so you know what's best here. This is my demo video of the new iTunes 11, which just got released to the world today. Now, a lot of people, including myself, have been waiting years for some much needed changes to the design and interface of iTunes, and it's finally here. So I'm going to get right into the demo for you. So as I go down to my dock, you see it does have a new logo. That's pretty nice, I do like that. I'm going to click on that, and the first thing you can notice that is a nice, cleaner interface than the previous iTunes version. Simply click on here to uh, go to your different movies, um, or if you want to go to your TV shows if you wanted to. Um, or you can go to applications like so. I don't have many apps in here because I got everything stored on my other computer. And while I'm here looking at the album artwork, I'm going to see the individual song in an album. Just simply click on it and it'll expand down below with all the different songs in that particular album. And so once you find the song you're looking for, don't judge me by this song right here. I had to download that for another reason. Anyway, um, once I find the song I'm looking for, I simply double click it right there and then it'll go ahead and start playing. Now there's a new feature called Up Next in this new iTunes 11. And it's over here on the right hand side. Click this button and this will show you all the songs that are coming up next in your playlist or in the particular album. And I can go ahead and reorder this too. So say I want to hear Swing Next instead of Sparkle, drag it up just like that. And also too, I could have just hit this right arrow button and hit the Play Next button. And also too, you can add these songs to a playlist very easily from this same feature if you wanted to. And then also too, you can go ahead and see the history of songs that you were playing. You can see I had to record this part a couple of times. But anyway, I can go ahead and see the history of songs and I wanted to add this to my current Up Next playlist. I go ahead and hit that plus button and then now that will be um, coming up next, that'll be the next song that I want to listen to. Now I can go ahead and clear all this if I wanted to, just like that, and get rid of all that good stuff. And then I can also just drag songs up here and they'll drop it down to the up next playlist and then boom, that'll be my next song. And also now when you want to add a song to a playlist, simply click on it and drag it over to the right hand side and it'll automatically pop out here and now I can add this to an individual playlist if I wanted to just let it go and now that is in my YouTube playlist. Now also too, when you're going to be syncing your iPhone, iPod, or iPad through iTunes, it'll show up here in the right hand corner and you click on this and now we're going to take you to kind of a, a, a more cleaner interface when you are uh, configuring your device. Uh, down here at the bottom you'll see that the uh, new section here that's showing you all the different storage um, uh, capacities that you have for your individual device. It'll go ahead and just hover your mouse over there and it'll show you just a little information for that. Um, and yeah, so everything just looks a little bit different here uh, when it comes to this uh, syncing information there. So I'm going to get out of that and now what do I want to show you? I'm going to show you the new iTunes store. Click on this and you see the new store interface it has a very similar look to what the, uh, um, the iOS iTunes store looks like. Um, you can click and slide through these different uh, kind of just icons for different information as far as songs and movies and things like that. You can slide through there just like so. And this is, again, just a more cleaner interface uh, than the previous version of iTunes. And one new feature in this store layout is this new history button. You click on that and it'll show you all the uh, previous things that you were looking at um, in the store. So say you were just browsing something, you forgot what it was, and click right over here. And then now you can go ahead and play that or you can buy it right here from this history section. And so this new layout is consistent throughout the entire store of the app store. Um, when you're looking at books, when I mean, you're looking at the TV shows, everything looks pretty similar now. And I think that's just about it. Let me go back to my library here and uh, look at my music and look at my movies and stuff. But this is basically it. This is all the new things really in iTunes 11. Maybe a couple things I missed there. Uh, but the main thing is that it's just a nice, simpler, cleaner interface. And it's exactly what I'm looking for because the previous iTunes was just seemed pretty jumbled and you had to go through with extra clicks and stuff to get through certain things. Um, now everything seems to be almost one click away um, in this new iTunes 11. So again, you can download this right now for the Mac and the PC. I'll put a link down below. If you want to go in and download this bad boy, leave a comment down below what you think about the new iTunes 11. What is missing? What do you like in this new version of iTunes? And thanks for watching, guys. And I will catch you later. Peace.